everyone, how are you doing? My name is Martin and welcome back to another Let's Play episode of Kingdom Comes Deliverance. Let's get started right away and let's talk with Sir Robert and get through this prologue so we can really start by playing this game. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. I heard about I your father, something. They say he was a well, sword to shriveled up with the hunger. Horses. I can't understand why he wasted his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine reputation. It's a great loss. Ah, milady. You're fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> When you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Yes, yes, thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, man. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. All right, will do. I learned kitchens. Hey. Oh, sorry. Oh, Jesus. Right, so I'm really hungry, so let's, uh, you fled let's from fix scallets. this. Shouldn't How did you be... manage that? Where's my plate? She just put a plate for me down. I think it's always here on the corner. I didn't pick that up, did I? Oh, it's weird. Oh, what was that? Seems I'm not good enough for the gent. What? That's a weirdo. All right, let's eat because we're really, really hungry. I did, I did pick it up. Well, that went really super fast. So our nourishment is extremely low. All right, all right. And I think these roast ducks will pretty much do the job. 92, that will do. All right. <coughs> now for some sleep. Thank you. What's your name again? Mm. I like her name. Okay, court. Lurch. That should be right over here. Oh man, I'm so tired. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I shouldn't forget to put my boots off, right? So, sit down. Do that. There we go. Where's my feet? Oh. <laughs> Thank God for that. Alright, there we go. Hopefully you get a good night's sleep. Let's do uh, 12 hours. I don't think we can sleep that long. We will see. Today the patrols will be double. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady... Uh, um... No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. 
It's just what you need to help you sleep. That sounds like a plan. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. That's very kind. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, Ooh. I know um. this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. I went to the tavern to buy ale for Father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind, because my girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while and we agreed to meet in the evening, but our meeting was never to happen. Oh dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised Father I'd help him with his work and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Father and I always chat in the forge. On that particular day, I asked him if he'd teach me swordsmanship. He said no. He said it's better for a man to keep his head on his shoulders than lose it over some pointless heroism. If only you'd known what fate had in store for us. Oh. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. I saw smoke on the horizon from a village Sigismund pillaged on the way to our town, which was soon to meet the same fate. God have mercy. And then death descended on Scalitz. The gate to the castle was open. The bells and horns sounded the alarm, and the villagers ran to the castle to take cover. They were carrying the few possessions they could grab in haste, and I saw the terror in their eyes. I can't even imagine how awful it must have been. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I wasn't safe yet. The Cumans were going from house to house below the castle, looting and then torching them. They encircled the castle, and it was clear they could spot me at any moment. May God punish them. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of Cuman savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although, in comparison to the horrors you went through... I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? 
My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Scalots. All right, let's put our shoes on first. <laughs> let's see. Are we hungry? No, don't think so. There should be a torch over here. That's right. Great. See what's going on. I think it was around the corner here, left from the gate, if I'm not mistaken. You can only go left. Good. Oh, I can't hear them. Very dark. Oh. Prepare for the worst, but don't be daunted by their numbers. 
Heed my commands, and all will end well. All right. What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalitz. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Divish sent to Scalitz to spy on Sigismund said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. and all his minions. Who else, Robert? Sir Antic. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slick throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. What will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense, and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir... Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish? Make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I've seen you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people too. It's a dark times. Move out! Tonight we'll have triple patrols. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. 
Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people, now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled, and report everything to me at once. Understood? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid! And don't worry, I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Okay, well the best thing to do is wait for morning, I think. Um... I'm going to try to get some some weapons. At least a bow, that would be good. But we have to steal it. I can't look big, but there's uh, some arrows and a bow. Free for the grasps, if we are careful. Damn, there's so much luck in this area. I don't know what it is. Alright, so we have to sneak in this little building here. To be very careful. can open it, that's not a problem. Let's see. Oh, I am in a private area. Okay, he's moving out. Let's quickly go in and close the door. <gasps> oh shit. Where did he come from? I just see him through that wee window and the door. Yeah, let's have a peek. I can't see. Alright, so. Um, arrows. Nice long distance. Unfortunately, I can't get in here. I believe there's uniforms in there, but... It's not much use for us now. Uh, let's continue sneaking. And go up. I believe the bows are over here. I think so. Um, yeah. Alright, let's see. Let's get some arrows. Perfect long distance, pretty good. Alright, so we have uh, more arrows. Sure. And more arrows. With the hazel bow, I think that's the best one. This one is an Ashen. Quickly have a peek. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, we want this one, but we don't have the agility for that. So we probably end up with this shitty one. So let's equip that and let's equip these long distance arrows. All right, cool. Perfect. Now, can't get in here. You can't get lockpicks. As far as I know, you can't get lockpicks here. Have to be careful at this area. So let's go back down. Hope there's no one there. We might actually be able to use a shield. Um, let's see how much defense they have. Let's have a look quickly. And they have. Not the best though. I think I'll leave them here. They're heavy anyway, so just drop them. Alright, perfect. Let's see if we can get out of here. Don't see anyone okay go 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 perfect close the door no one there so anything all right so the objective I'm sneaking Ooh. there we go so we're in the mission run keep watch on the battlements I think we're we have to speak to some guy wandering around like a stray sheep all right found him must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Standing here with a stolen <laughs> bow on my back. Alright, now we can wait till morning. Uh, something like this I think we'll do. Here 
we go. Alright, so... Now we can go downstairs through the gate. Yes, this way. <laughs> I hope so. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg! <laughs> That's the bastard who let the attack of Scullis and killed my parents! Don't be an idiot! Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Mark Vart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Taunberg divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom. Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Skalitz mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Skalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not a Talmurg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king, then, that Sir Radzik Kobila is not a Talmurg, and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. Lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard.
All right, there we have it. I think that will be... The next episode will be the last part of the prologue. Damn, it's such a long prologue. Such a good voice acting as well. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I tried to make a little bit of a movie of this and cut a few things out. So it goes much more fluent. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I will see you next time. Bye.